Edward J. Emerson, and it's time to take a closer look at the design of the 1934 Emerson Electric Samson Sports Truck. Each May, we design the upcoming models at about one year or more in advance. We discussed this when we did the same for the solar sedan in the last update. The Samson follows the same format as the solar, but even more so. This is due to the cost of such a unique truck. The Samson has a standalone platform, which means the costs are even greater than many of the other models. There was a sister vehicle, the All Trans Commercial Van. This was discontinued as of 1929 model year, with plans to possibly restart in the future. This means that not only does this truck have a standalone platform, but engine too. This means that we are very thoughtful when redesigning and pricing this vehicle. One cost that is not as great is due to the fact that it shares its upper body with the Titan and ETD trucks with little modification other than switch gear. This keeps this truck looking like a standard gas-powered truck. Our battery technology has given us the ability to spread the weight of our battery out under the standard truck floor. This is done by designing the conventional trucks with the most efficient layout as possible. This gives us the flexibility to convert from gas to electric with the least amount of cost. The advantages of this is due to the way that the Titan engine and transmission has been designed. This design also gives our Emerson Allure Flow Sport Truck the ability to have a variety of engine choices if needed to fit the demand of customers. The Samson is the second highest priced vehicle in the electric brand. The highest is the EE Sport Executive Sedan, which is sold to a very niche sedan market buyer that is looking for the most luxurious electric sedan available. If we exclude the sub brand, then the Samson is the most exclusive vehicle in the lineup. Within the truck market, it sits just behind the Emerson Allure and above the ETD off-road trail as far as the market. So what type of performance does the Emerson Electric Samson Sport Truck offer? Well, for the 1932 model year, it offers 25 horsepower and 194 foot-pounds of torque. It has a two-speed automatic transmission. The E192 battery and motors is approximately about 43 inches in length and 36 inches in width. The vehicle has an overall weight of 4,448 pounds. It has a top speed of 33 miles per hour. It has a combined range of 13.8. It has a cargo capacity of about 59 cubic feet and the truck dimensions are 191 inches long and 76 inches wide. So what are the Edward J. Emerson truck spec range for the entire company? Well the spec range is 51 cubic feet to about 87 cubic feet. Our horsepower range is from 25 up to 135 horsepower. And our torque range is anywhere from 99 all the way up to 218 foot-pounds of torque. So how does that compare to our competition? Well, our competition is BMW Motorsports. Their truck is called the Epoxy. It has a 33 horsepower motor and 32 foot-pounds of torque. It has a cargo capacity of 49 cubic feet and a miles per gallon of 15.6. Century's truck is called the Thought. 
It has 47 horsepower and 118 foot-pounds of torque. It has 53 cubic feet of carbon capacity in 11 miles per gallon. Then there's Classic Motors. Whippingham is the name of their truck. And their truck has a horsepower rating of 27 and a torque rating of 30. Now that truck has 57 cubic feet of storage space and 15.6 miles per gallon. Detroit BR Motors this truck is called Road. That truck has a horsepower of 53 and a torque of 136. Carbon capacity of 60 cubic feet and 7.9 miles per gallon. Detroit Enterprise's truck is called Educate. It has a horsepower rating of 32 and a torque rating of 31. It has 50 cubic feet of storage space and 15 six miles per gallon. Duesenberg has a truck called Tech that has a horsepower rating of 47 and a foot-pounds of torque of 142. Cargo capacity is 56 and the miles per gallon is 8.3. They have a second truck called the Greyhound. It has a horsepower rating of 44 and a torque rating of 111. Cubic feet on that truck is 53 and the miles per gallon is 11.5. Eclipse Micro's truck is called Station 21. That truck has a horsepower rating of 33 and a torque rating of 70. Cargo capacity, 52. Miles per gallon, 11.5. They also have a second truck called Mansfield. 42 horsepower and 112 foot-pounds of torque. 16 cubic feet in that truck. 19.9 miles per gallon. Jeep has a truck called the Taro that has 44 horsepower and 111 foot-pounds of torque. Cargo capacity, 53. Miles per gallon, 11.5. Lancia has a truck. It's called Gruncy, and that has a horsepower rating of 39 and a torque rating of 98. Overall capacity, 40. 9 cubic feet and 9.1 miles per gallon. Leland's truck is called a Monterey and that has 53 horsepower and 138 foot-pounds of torque. Carbon capacity is 58 cubic feet. Miles per gallon is 7.5. Locomobile Company Americana has a truck and it's called 5995 and that vehicle has a horsepower rating of 42 and a torque rating of 116. Carbon capacity 48 cubic feet and 12.9 miles per gallon. 901 has a truck called the Coyote and that has a horsepower rating of 21 and a torque rating of 57. Overall cubic feet, 65 of storage, 10 miles per gallon. Opal has a truck called Appleese, and that one has a horsepower rating of 31 and a torque rating of 31 also. It has a cubic feet of storage of 58 and 15.6 miles per gallon. Ram has a truck called Inver, and that has a horsepower rating of 58 and a torque rating of 150.
54. Cargo capacity 51 cubic feet. Miles per gallon is 11.3. Competition's range for Edward J. Emerson is anywhere between 21 horsepower and 53 horsepower. And the foot pounds of torque is anywhere from 30 all the way up to 154. Now, where does the Samson end up falling within there? It has lower horsepower than the lowest horsepower vehicle, but it has more torque than all of the other vehicles. The Samson truck has a two-speed automatic transmission, while majority of the other trucks have a manual. 